Hi everybody, fellow fiber fanatics and Yarny peeps. All right. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully well, really good. Well, I hope. You know, we always only hope that you're doing well and staying safe. You always so, make the camera tilt down, and I'm like two feet taller than you. I have my chair set up, up tall, as tall as it'll right go. Down. Oh, there, there it goes taller. There. <laughs> now I'm taller than you, even though yeah. in real life you're like a foot taller you, than me. Two feet All right. taller. Two feet taller. Two feet taller. You wish. Man, you'd be towering you're over me. You're a man. big girl now. Huh? <laughs> All right. Today. Oh. These are delicious. If anybody wants to know. Sorry to interrupt you, but. They are good. Those Coke and coffees, if you guys haven't seen them. Coke and coffee mix as well. Oh, I got the vanilla flavor. I haven't tried the others. Anyways, enough of that. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me. If yes. you uh, have been here for, for a long time, thank you for staying with me. So, um, I'm Crystal, in case you don't, not, did not know. I'm Eric. From Bag O' Day. And AKA this, Mr. Bod. Mr. Bod stands for Bag O' Day. It has nothing to do with my body. That's what she's going to say. I have a regular dad bod, and she's super impressed with it. She loves me for it. I don't mean nothing ill by that. By him hey, just saying that to dad. According to the pandemic, dad bods are the thing. According okay. to pandemic news. Okay, we have an unboxing we're going to do real quick here. So, this is from Webs. Now, Webs. I, I, I didn't think that I ever purchased from Webs before, but then on a live stream, someone said that they think that I did at one time and did an unboxing. I you did. If I did, I can't remember. So, I did it again. And if I did, this would probably be the only second time that I did it. But anyways, I noticed they were having, um, and still having, on their, oh, some of their yeah. Noro yarn. You know, that. Noro is, if you don't know, is a very high-end brand of yarn. And normally, it's quite, quite expensive. And they were having um, closeout sales on some of it. Um, the same as uh, Little Knits was. Um, but they had some different yarn than Little Knits. Some different yarn. They also had closeouts on other yarns too so i got some of their closeout sale they have a, like a lot of yarn, yarn closeouts do you want me to go to it um <clears throat> no well we can you could type it Let's in bust yeah, it I, open. I don't know bust it open you got scissors this time wow you i'm are coming up i'm ready so webs web shipped ships from mass from spiders ma spiders. oh massachusetts massachusetts yeah, webs would come from spiders, would they? No. It got to me relatively quick, quick through UPS. Uh, I don't know. Maybe six days or something. Five or six days. It didn't take that long. Um, Here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I'm always super. <laughs> Oh, oh I love opening a fresh box of yarn that I've Ooh, never this had one first. before. This one first. Ooh, Ooh I like that okay. One. This is Cascades yarn. Never, I never had it. Pacific, Pacific Color Wave. Wow, it's cool. It's a pretty color. See the mix of the greens in it. It looks very springy. You got to pull it out. Um, it's uh. 40% superwash merino and 60% acrylic, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 213 yards, 195 meters. China. Made in China. No. It is made in China. $4.99 scheme. $4.99 a ball was $8. It's on sale. It's a closeout. So um, I try to remember everything that everybody tells me that they want to hear when it comes to the yarns whenever I try to tell them about it. Sometimes I forget, but. So they classify that as a four weight. I think that's an all right four weight right there. You guys can always be the judge of that. And it is applied yarn. It's not chain spun nor roving. Feels okay. Remember, it's soft, wonderful. it does have wool in it. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah. 40 wool, super wash wool, and 20 acrylic. Washing instructions are you can wash and you can dry. It's average. You know, I'd, I'd wear a scarf out of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's eight dollars down to four ninety nine. See, they got uh, quite a few colors left available, don't they? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they got quite a few uh, colors. Like seventeen. This one is uh, color number three ten. Does it have a name? 
It's your latest guy to name. You're always off camera, Mr. Duck. Pretend. Well, I'm sorry. Scoot over here. Forest. 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 That's why I like it so much. Scoot over here towards me. I am. Red cakes? No. What? What's that mean? You had your cootie shot? Cootie shot. Okay. This is Elena Grossa. I think that's how you say that. Elena Which Grossa. is another very uh, high end, I believe it's a high end yarn brand. Um, is it two ends? One. It's called Only Tweed. I had to get it because brown's my favorite color and rusts in like uh, avocado greens or whatever, olive greens and stuff like that and pumpkins. Look at all, it has all those colors in it and black and white. And I love Tweedy Flucky yarn. So it's got all the things going for Bag of Day to crochet to like. It's 3% viscose, which is the Fleck, 16% uh, poly acrylic, 5% uh, silk, 76% merino, aversion wool, non felting. Yeah. Awesome. Only tweed. It is <coughs> machine washable, lay flat to dry. Huh. I don't see it on here anymore. 135 meters, which is about 150 yards, pretty close. Made in Italy, uh, 50 grams. They don't have it anymore? I don't think so. <coughs> you typed that in? I typed only tweed, nothing came up. Well, uh, I don't know why they don't have it anymore. Maybe they sold out. Oh, they did not sell out. They could have, I mean, it's, it's possible. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. It's that yarn. Just no, it's not doctor. yarn. I'm allergic to Steven. I was in, he was in here and I was petting him. Sure. I was petting him a while ago. Maybe you're allergic to whatever critter this is made out of. Critter? <laughs> Viscose and polycryl. Silk. Polycryl. So you probably got allergic to that. No. What is this? this virgin it, wool. Um, it's six, it was six forty nine a ball. Okay. That was its closeout price so it could it was probably double that originally yeah, but anyways <coughs> sorry <coughs> allergies i knew you didn't have that cootie shot keep it over there circle circle dot, for, dot. stop for those of you that don't know what cooties are <clears throat> that don't live in the u.s some people don't know what cooties are cooties they're, they're are, imaginary fake it's a pretend Thing that you used to say in the school, the boys would like, say to the girls, the girls would boys say to the boys, cooties, boys girls have, have cooties. cooties. It ain't really nothing, it's just like pretend. Yeah. But sorry, you know, that's just kind of what we say here in the U.S. Mr. Boss is full of cooties, he's nasty, nasty and full of cooties. My beard is. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, let's go on. Let's okay, go let's on. see what you got. Wait, wait. In your big box of happiness. What's this? Oh, coffee bean Ooh, yarn. I like that. Coffee bean. Coffee coke and coffee beans. Oh. Pretty. Okay, this is Plymouth Yarn Coffee Beans. I like this. I have had this before. That is gorgeous. And again, brown's my favorite color. It's nice and tweety, just like I like. Coffee Beans, 75 acrylic, 25% wool. Plymouth Yarn Company. It's nice. It's just fine. 100 grams, 214 yards, machine wash, tumble dry, made in Turkey. How much is this stuff? It's medium four weight. You always? Oh, coffee beans. Hey. Well, the computer's over here. What's Your computer don't even work. What's wrong with it? I don't know why I have to keep looking it up. On <laughs> I it. clicked on it and there is no Plymouth coffee beans. Four sixty nine a ball. And it was probably double that at one time. Indeed. You need uh, to be on the camera because apparently they only come here to see you and not me. I highly doubt that. Hey, I'm cool with that. I'm just here to assist it's a little disappointing but i'm i'll be okay you'll be okay those are hey those look good with you maybe i'll make they something they look good with me they match yeah, me well they do, I'll that. do. I matches like that. my beard a little bit it's nice and uh it's pretty it's even got the gray in there i like that a lot you know that seems like something that i might make something for you it's that. two e's it's beans with two e's isn't it that's I, yeah, what's wrong with you? You got to get it just right. I already told him the price. It doesn't matter. I don't think there's any on here anyway. Yeah, it's too. There's some on there. I saw it pop up. Where? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They only had a couple colors left. It don't matter. Okay. 
Then I got whatever this is. This is, I don't know if I've had this before or not. Cascade cartwheel. Cartwheel. I know all, I think all I got, I got was closed out, guys. Yeah. I'm pretty certain. I might have had this before, I can't remember. Um, Cascade yarn cartwheel, 100% acrylic. If I remember right, it had quite a bit of yardage for the price. 328 yards. 328 yards of a medium four weight, 200 grams, 7.05 ounces, 328 yards, 300 meters. Made in China. $5.99 a skein, regular $10. $5.99 a regular 10. Five, $5 .99, regular 10. Oh, it's a bulky. It's a bulky five, too, is what they classify that as. A bulky five. It's like a thinner bulky five, kind of like a scarfy yard or something, but yeah. Thicker, thicker four, thin, thinner five. What thicker ifs? four, thinner five. I like it. How's it feel? Mm, it could be a chunky okay. four. Chunky four. It's okay. I'd, I mean, I'd wear a scarf out of it, but it's definitely not the softest acrylic I've ever felt. All right. Okay. Not super, super no. soft. But it is a pretty color, I think, isn't it? They got plenty of colors still to choose from. Uh, let's see. Let me click. Five ninety nine for colors. Nineteen colors. Five ninety nine for a. Uh, three hundred twenty. Three hundred twenty yards of a bulky is not a bad price. Actually. Oh yeah, they have nineteen colors. Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> Over fifty in stock for most. So. What's this right here? Everybody should get one. What Cascade. What's paradigm that? shift. What, what? Paradigm. That's how you say that? Yeah. Okay. Paradigm shift. I've never heard of this before. Never seen it until I saw it on webs and I'm like, I gotta get that. I don't know if this was on a closeout or not, but I thought I thought I would have to get it. It was not. It is. I just did a, a video on Mercerized Cotton yesterday and I said I don't usually buy it, but I had to get this. I don't know. It was calling my name. 371 yards, $19. No, I didn't pay $19 a kick for that. I believe you might have. Is this the light or the regular? Yeah, $19 a kick. I wouldn't have. Oh my gosh, I did. Hey, I always say yarn is worth what you will pay for it. I guess I thought I couldn't live without this. It is beautiful. Yeah, Let's it is. read about it. 200 grams, 7.05 ounces, 371 yards, 340 meters, um, washable, dryable, made in Brazil. This is 100% mercerized cotton. And I was just talking about how I don't particularly like mercerized cotton that well. But this one is gorgeous. And it's a four weight, right? Yep. Ten uh, colors remaining. And since it's a four weight, I'll Ooh, probably use nine it. Colors. It's not that, uh, it's a little bit thinner on the four side, but it's not that bad. It's not as uh, stiff as some mercerized cottons that I've seen. You know, that would make a beautiful shawl. I do wish those centers matched up a little better. I kind of anticipated them being the same when I saw them. I just thought it would be a yarn that the centers would be the same. They're not. I'm big on color control, but I still love this. Will I make something out of it? You want to say yes. I want to say yes, but um, time would probably tell me no, that it might end up in a giveaway. <laughs> we'll have to see. But yes, I would love, I think this would make a gorgeous I think that one's called Deep Dive. Deep Dive. Lightweight top. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so pretty. I couldn't pass that up. I like the spectrum one. You like spectrum one? That's pretty Ooh, too. Petunia's cool too. They're it's hard to cool. choose, but if you're paying nineteen dollars a skin, you got to be careful. <clears throat> or a cake. You got to make sure you like it. You got to make sure you like it. Anyways, I think that two of these would be enough. I think to make yes, a beautiful uh, lightweight lacy top, lacy shawl, um, something beautiful. I'm sure. I'm certain. I'm just sad because I paid nineteen dollars for it. I don't. I guess I thought I had to have it at the time. It happens. I don't know. It a little fuzzy. It, it, it's really pretty. It is. If I though, I will be honest though, it has gorgeous as it is. Um, had I had it in my hand first, I wouldn't have paid $19 worth. But. So you're saying it wasn't worth it? It's only because it's, it's, uh, I knew it was a mercerized when I got it. And there's nothing wrong with mercerized cotton. 
it's just not one of my favorites but it being a four weight mercerized it makes it better i just wish that it would be ma more matching so when i did the two cakes together it would flow well but mm. i still like it it's pretty okay Good what's this Lena Gomatillo Tolo Conceita. Lena Grosso what? Goma Gomatolo Conceita. Okay, what he said. And this is 70% virgin wool, 20% viscose, 10% silk. Hand wash, lay flat. Um, made in Italy. Uh, where is the yardage? 100 grams, 200 meters, so about 220 yards. yards is what I was going to say. Man, that was a good guess. Hey, you need to scoot closer. Everybody wants to see That's you. okay. So this is soft. Feel that. For be, it being, um, having that much wool on it. It looks like it's a bulky five. Always, is that what they when rate When I feel it? them, I feel the softness, like the spongy, like the yeah springiness of it but then whenever you're rubbing your hand across it to feel the texture mm -hmm. you can feel the coarseness of the wool in it yeah but it's <clears throat> but it's not super i'd wear something out of rough it. that it would scratch what's it. uh what what is it a bulky uh let's see i don't know Doesn't well say. we'll just hold it up and you guys can determine what they say that is there i'd say that's probably between a four they and said five recommend the h hook so i'd never use an h hook on that but that's just me i tell you i'm i'm more on using bigger hooks than i am smaller ones because i can't use smaller ones anymore but what's the size h uh five millimeter that's the lowest i go when it goes to hooks <laughs> but that's what that looks like that's very pretty what color is this i, I think i got it i like the blues it's purple blue petrol gray brown <laughs> that's the name of it that's the name of it Petrol. Hmm. No, and what? Isn't it this one? I think it's that 708, isn't it? 702. Oh, 702. Purple, blue, petrol, gray, brown. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it. 702. That's pretty. Each, I got co each color is named in the A lot of. I can't believe I didn't get that brown orange one. What's wrong with me? I don't have the answer to that question. 999? Nine ninety nine. Made in. Does that say regular seventeen ninety nine? Yeah, it was regular seventeen ninety nine. It was Italy. on sale. Made in Italy. So, mm -hmm. I like it. It's it's nice. It's pretty. You know, I'm not a big huge fan of busy yarns like that, but I think they work well with a simple stitch. That's pretty too. Okay, did nice. I only get one of those? No, you got two, three. I got three, and I didn't even get the brown one. You didn't. They're all the same color. That's so extremely unlike like me. I would have. Got this one. Ooh. Huh. Have we talked about this one before? Something like this? Same yeah. Um, Is it the one where you're going like this? No, we never talked about this before, but they had this at uh, Little Knit also. I, I Crayon? think. Crayon? Crayon? I think they did. Huh. Anyways, okay, That's this important. was a Noro that was on closeout here at Webb's. Um, and it, this is what it's called. Crayon Air. Now, Noro is made in Japan, and this is 100% wool, so you can tell that it's wool, and I bet it would felt beautifully. I don't know, though. Yeah, I'm almost certain it would. It's a super bulky. 100% yes. wool. Super bulky, 100% wool. 109 yards. 109 yards. Dry clean. Dry clean. Ugh. From Japan. Nine ninety nine a hank, regular seventeen ninety nine. Yes, regular seventeen ninety nine down to nine nine ninety nine a hank. Um, what's the yardage on this? One hundred nine. One hundred nine. What's the grams on this? One hundred. One hundred grams. Okay, so they say super bulky. Mhm. Mm it's a roving style, so you can see there it goes from five, maybe up to six weight places down to a four, but you know, yeah. It's really, really pretty, but it is quite self striping. Coarse. Yes, I seen the self striping in it. Um, it's very pretty. The color is which one? Color three ninety eight. Three ninety eight. Let's see. Maroto. 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 I had such a hard time choosing, but yes, the self striping was beautiful. I looked it up on the Google on this yarn. Oh, I like Violet's memoir. Where? <clears throat> Mm, that's pretty, yeah. Moroto is the best, the next best one, I think, though. Tour anyway, so it does have lots of beautiful colors. Noro is known for having lots of beautiful colors. Anyways, um, 
this is not a yarn you'd want to you would probably want to make like a sweater out of it and wear a shirt underneath it or something like that because it is kind of are these all the same colors uh yeah that one looks a little different but i think it is yeah it is they're all the same okay so i got five of those one two three four i only got five yep so and there's only 100 yards in each other 500 yards of well fabulous fun i'm gonna be able to make a sweater with that i can make my yeah i can make something with it or it can go in a giveaway can make a belly sweater no you a know hat to be nice with that um and a child size sweater definitely eli would look pretty dang cute in it i'd look good in oh, a hat dude, sweater show off my dad plus it's a super bulky so yeah that would go a lot further okay anyways mm -hmm. hey it says right here that according to this mm -hmm. noro crayo and air makes your projects fly off your needles or hook so they just fly off because it's so bulky that's right it's like air it flies like air okay here's another noro that they had on sale or, ha or they were closing out or something kagayaki okay look it up mr bod please this is 40 percent wool 24 percent cotton 80 percent silk and 80 percent viscose 100 grams 200 meters this is about 220 yards and it says do not wash and do not or hand wash and okay, okay i have a question it that? says 100 grams mm -hmm. that's the weight of it yeah you mean like yeah so how is this only well, I guess the, the other yarn was thicker, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it was 100 I don't grams particularly and it was 109 yards. Some people so. use grams to determine how much they need for a project. I do not. I use yardage. So just Since this... I'm in the U.S. and then some people outside the U.S. use um, meters. So was that Noro a 5 or a 6? The six. Super bulky? And this is a 4? Yeah. So that many more yards. Yeah. Just because it's a little bit thinner. <laughs> I, can't, I particularly don't even really know how people go by grams considering, I don't know, this is 100 grams. And that's, in the four weights, that's 100 more yards, 110 I, more yards I than guess a six it's a, I guess it depends on how thick or thin the yarn yeah. is. But anyways, I always go by yards, but everybody's different to each their own, whatever works for you. Beautiful yarn. How much is this? Oh. Ten ninety nine regular nineteen ninety five. Well, twenty dollars down to eleven, and now I got three colors left. The color I have is number eighteen. Copper fuchsia purple. Copper fuchsia and purple. I love that name. It's pretty. I got quite the collection of Noro now that I can't. I can't afford Noro. Look at that. That's <laughs> awesome looking. Ooh, this is my favorite I like that one. Color. This is my favorite one. What's the graffiti? Graffiato. Yeah, Graffiato Trendsetter Yarns. Trendsetter by Trendsetter Yarns. I guess that's a brand. I've never heard of that brand. That is gorgeous. Gary, if you're watching, that looks like it's speaking your language, too. Oh, yeah. Let me it know. Reminds me of that hat. You guys don't the know Gary hat. from Urban Yarn? You should check him out. I'll put a link up there, mm, if I remember, to his channel. If not, I'm sorry, Gary. I'll put it in the description box. If it's not there, I'm sorry again. Urban yarns, urban yarns. I got a short term memory. Okay, 55% wool, 45% acrylic, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 175 yards. Made in Italy. I have never heard of Trendsetter. Gra 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 graffiato. Graffiato. Man, that is gorgeous. Graffiato. That is some beautiful, right? beautiful yarn. Uh huh. Let's see. Made in, let's see, hand wash in cold water with no detergent. Wash and machine on gentle cycle with cold water and placed flat to dry. Where is it made? Italy. Oh, Italy. Graffiato. It's like a roving style, like like your Red Heart Unforgettable and stuff, but like way prettier. Look at the colors in that one. These are my colors. It's like gold, gold, golden orange and golden yellow with a... Uh, some black uh, tweed effects in it. That is one gorgeous yarn. $8.99. $8.99? That's good. I would pay that all day long for that. Wait, is that for three or is that for one? That's for one. Oh, yeah, one. you paid $26.99. I'd pay that all day long for that. That is so pretty. Do they have other pretty colors in it? Mm, that's not even on here anymore. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. I wish... You can't see the... 
it's so shiny it. and it just looks like copper and gold it almost looks like wire with it's black shiny. in it oh it's so pretty this is my favorite i'm going on about it and it's roving which is my favorite um it's probably a four weight roving which means is it say it's a four weight i can't get anything okay well it yeah. looks like a four way. It you know with the roving, say go from thick to thin, but I'm gonna say it probably levels, it out, levels out to to be about a four. It looks like it goes to a three in some spots, but man, is that ever pretty! I don't think I went on about a yarn like this in a long time. It's that pretty dope. It's pretty pretty dope, super dope, like the dopest of the dope, dopest of the dope. I already showed that. You didn't Car show this, did you? Cartwheel? Is yeah. Is this just another color? Yeah, it's just another okay. color cartwheel. This one made me think of Rose from Rose Likes yeah. Crochet for some reason. The purples. Purples. The purple. Okay. Is that it? Oh, another Noro that was on sale. Man, like I was saying before, I freaked out over this trendsetter yarn. I'm, yeah. Um, I was telling the story about uh, Noro. I can't afford Noro unless it's on sale. And since I found it on closeout at Little Knits and here at Webb's, I got quite the collection of it now. It's really beautiful yarn. Look at that one. Wow. Very pretty. That reminds me of my rose. My daughter rose <laughs> made my rose. But, anyways. Okay, we'll go back to the Noro. This is what this one is. Um, Tannin? Is that what it says? Hey, we scale over to a little bit more. There we go. Oh. Uh, I love you. Okay. T. It's not showing up. T e n n e n. Yeah, yeah. Fifty percent wool, twenty five silk, twenty five of alpaca. Feels nice. I mean, for it having wool and alpaca in it, it feels or wool in it, it feels nice. You know, I'd wear a scarf out of it, but it's it's pretty. I think Noro takes a special project though. It's beautiful. Um, so it says, do not wash, do not dry. Seems like a lot of Noros say that, don't they? Do not touch. <laughs> don't crochet with it, put it on your, put it on the shelf. Um, uh, made in Japan. What does it say about it? Twelve ninety nine. Two hundred seventy five yards. Was twenty five dollars and it's twelve ninety nine now. Um, fifty percent. Oh, I already told you that. It's a, a medium weight number four. 100 grams, 275 yards, made in Japan. Six colors left. Six colors left. This one Five is this one is called Merlot. Of course, I get the Merlot. Merlot, but it is the roving style also. So it being a four weight, it's going to go from thick to thin in some spots. But that's gorgeous too, Merlot. I keep in this one. What's this? This is more trendsetters yarn. Oh, I don't think this was. On, maybe it was on sale. I think I just wanted to try this yarn because it was new. I don't think this one was on sale. It was. Holika. There it is. Holika. What's that? That's not the color I got. It That's was. Right $16 mm -hmm. down to $8.99 a hank. Trendsetter yarns. That, that's what Holika? it's called. That's beautiful. 55 cotton, 45 acrylic, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 175 yards of a made in Italy of a medium weight number four. Yeah. Yes. It's called wine barrel. I had a hard time deciding what color I wanted on this because they had about five colors. Yep. And every single one of them is That's gorgeous. Nice, yeah. That is pretty. Eight ninety nine, Hank. Did you say that already? Yeah, it was sixteen. 16 yeah. Now it's eight ninety nine, and that's for a four weight of a cotton acrylic. It's nice. It's a nice soft cotton acrylic blend too. Very nice. I only got one of these two. No. Oh, I see. I see. I'm just picking one out. Yeah, I just pick one. That's pretty. They got, if you look at this stuff up, they got a lot of pretty colors. Or five of them, but they're all very, very pretty. What is it with Noro not hanking their yarn up? They do it loosely. Then it pulls apart on me. On camera. Okay, this one is, this one? Makes good outtakes. I guess. Nishiki. Uh, Nishiki. Right? I don't know. Hold Can't still. I can't pronounce anything. How many of those co ca coffee cokes did you drink? I didn't drink any of them. Hold still. There you go. Straight water for me today. It's Nishiki. Noro Nishiki. Okay. Nishiki. 77% cotton, 23% uh, polymine. Very, it's, it's soft. 
it's nice. I mean, it's nice. 262 yards. 262 yards of a, is it a DK or a worsted? It's a worsted. Why didn't I get that purple one? I have no idea. Why did I get this one? Did they send me the right one? Ooh. I like this one, but it's not really not something normally I thought I would choose. Ooh, Same thing with Noro, don't wash, don't dry. Um, there it is. Wallflower is the one you got. Is that the one I got? Yeah. I would have got Aurora. I mean, it shows Wallflower. This is Wallflower? That's what it says here. Uh, Looks Nora like they gave Nishiki. me Keystone. Okay, Nora Nishiki Keystone. Did you get Nora Wallflower too, I guess? This one? Is it, oh, I got two different colors. Okay. That's the last one too. I believe, okay. So. so these are the same. Okay, what were they regular? Regular? $9 Okay, nine ninety nine regular, eighteen dollars. So, this is these are the same, just two different colors. This one is uh, Aurora, right? Yes. And this one's Keystone. It's a very neutral. I like that. No, no, no. no this one's Wallflower. Wallflower, yes. And this one is Keystone. Are you a Wallflower, babe? And this is. I don't think so. Uh, very neutral and very unhanged. Re refresh me. What's a Wallflower? Isn't it like uh, someone that's just. You know, does their own thing. Well, if that's a wallflower, then I'm definitely a wallflower because I know, just do my they... own thing all the time. I don't follow trends, if that's what you mean. Okay. Let's see. Let's look that look that up. Yeah, I hank that so it's better. These are both pretty. Okay. Did we tell you everything about it? Yeah, cotton, acrylic, and I'm all confused because of you. Four weight, roving style. Uh, all nor most Noro is a roving style. Um, what's your yardage on this? You were wrong about the wallflower. 262. 262 for a four way. Okay, what, what? A wallflower is a person who has no one to dance with or who feels shy, awkward, or excluded at a party. I felt like a miserable wallflower at a boisterous what party. What did I say it was? Someone who just does their own thing. Kind of. Well, who has no one to dance with or feels shy or awkward. Yeah, you just excluded. do your own thing. You know, well, you're a wallflower. Wall, I'm not a you're just like kind of. You're not. I would be more. I'd be more that person at the party, like. Shy. Shy, awkward. awkward, very awkward. <laughs> be standing in the corner. Not I'm him, pretty though. Outgoing. Not him. Hey, on camera a little bit less because. See, it's funny because I'm for me. really outgoing on camera, but if you met me in person, I'd be a little bit re reclusive, like uh, introvert, extrovert on camera. We're opposite. He's like talks to everybody, yeah. strangers in the store and stuff, and I'm just like don't. I don't even look at anybody in the store. I just kind of just do my thing and go. I don't know. It's weird. Completely but, on, but on camera, as soon as you hit record, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm shy in like real life. As soon as you hit camera, I'm like... Blah, 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 blah. I can't quit talking. But we are really completely opposite. We are. Nothing. We really don't have too much in common. We have five kids. But we have... <laughs> but we... Uh, I don't know. Get along. We get along good that my favorite was this one. Oh yeah this and, uh, and this one this trendsetter uh gra what is it graffiato graffiato man this is a true winner here it is beautiful yarn beautiful. Yeah, I like this forest one too this is an awesome color <sighs> it's not my favorite it's nice but this one's definitely got my favorite I like a lot of these Noros I got this one actually is probably the favorite my favorite of all the Noros is that the Merlot the Merlot uh tenon 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 let's see you got wine barrel barrel Merlot berries and you don't even drink no I don't drink I'm not a drinker but I like to call it Merlot mm -hmm. I mean it's a pretty pretty color I really like this one though. that's a good one yeah the trendsetter is nice that trendsetter was the ace here in this box all right thanks everybody for watching that's it right yeah thank that's you guys it. so much we hope you liked it Hopefully, Mr. Bob didn't bore you. I mean, I might have bored you a little bit. A little. I'm not that boring, am I? Um. So yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Thanks everybody for yeah, watching. Thank you guys. You know we couldn't we ask you. for anything else, just for you guys to support us by watching our videos, and hopefully, you guys get some happiness out of it. And yeah, watch our vids. Education. Start to finish.
Bye, guys. Love you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.